Hello and Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the 15th episode of Organization and Management course of MBA Cole. I'm your host Komal and with me I have the expert Mr. Sai Chaudhary. Welcome sir. Thank you. Students in today's program we are going to study what is organizational development. And now I would like the expert to tell us what is organizational development. Now organizational development is a planned effort managed by the people at the top for uh, making the organization more effective and uh, developed in structures and it is done through certain uh, uh, interventions. And as you might have noted, it is uh, related to a certain discipline which we call behavioral science because we need people to work in organizations and therefore we have to develop the organization with the development of these people. You can see here it's a system-wide application of behavioral science knowledge to the planned development, improvement and reinforcement of the strategies, structures and processes that to the end we achieve organizational effectiveness. Expert, you have just told us that it is related to some kind of discipline which is behavioral sciences and you have told us what is organizational development. Would you be kind enough to tell us how do we bring about that development? Now, all development is change and change for the betterment of the organization to make it more effective. As you can see, organizational development is an effort planned organization-wide and managed from the top to increase organizational effectiveness and health through planned interventions in the organization's processes using behavioral science knowledge. This is a definition from Richard Beckard, who was a well-known organizational thinker or thinker in management science. Students, the expert just explained some basic traits which are planned, organization-wide, managed from the top, increased organizational effectiveness and health, planned interventions and behavioral science knowledge. And now we will come to the OD strategy which is a complex strategy intended to change the beliefs, attitudes, values and structure of organizations so that they can better adapt to new technologies, markets and challenges. I would like the expert to explain us further. As we have noted, the strategy is complex and it's organization wide. It's managed from the top and it needs interventions. Now through this strategy, what do we do? We change values, we change attitudes, we change work habits, beliefs, and we change the structures with which the organization is made of. That is, it's uh, departments, its divisions, its units and subunits and we also train people to use new technologies. With the coming of new technologies there are changes in organizational structures also. So all these processes which are managed through interventions help us change and develop the organization as has been pointed out by Warren Bennis, who was also a management thinker. Now, it's not only a simple change, it's a complex and organization-wide change, mm -hmm. and it is managed from the top, and it changes the values and beliefs and attitudes and work habits, and Alongside that, obviously, 
we have to change the structures, mm -hmm. the structures of which the organization is made of. All right. That is the departments and the divisions. And these need changes in the human resource also. Mm -hmm. If we introduce new technologies, we need training. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we have to train people in the new technologies and raise their productivity. Now, what we must note here is that uh, organizational development is not just any change to make uh, the organization better in this aspect or in that aspect. It's a planned change, which means that it's a series of changes and the processes, and it's done through interventions mm -hmm. which are very well planned All right. before their introduction. Mm -hmm. And you can see it involves reflection. That is, it involves thinking before planning. And it involves system improvement, planning, and ultimately self-analysis. That is, what will happen if this change is executed and uh, how would it benefit the organization? So basically, sir, it's the change that is being developed. It's the change that leads to development, All right. but it's a planned and well thought out change. There is a visual also. I would want you to explain it to the students. You are right. It's a beautiful visual and it uh, explains very clearly that uh, the change involves beliefs attitudes, values, and structures. Structures are material things, while values and attitudes and beliefs are mental, related to our intellect and thinking. And they all lead to changes in technologies, in uh, our marketing strategies, and uh, they help us meet challenges of competition and challenge of uh, new inventions, which we call uh, interventions here, and uh, new technologies, which are the results of these uh, uh, inventions. So this is the way the process of uh, change takes place, the change that leads to development. So you just told us that there, is certain, there are certain processes involved when we talk of organizational development. What are these processes? The change processes, as uh, I have already explained, can be broadly divided into two categories. Uh, the ones that seem to be uh, mental related to our thinking and the other are material. For example, we can see the processes leading to system improvement and uh, organizational reflection that is the thinking in the organizations and how it this organization has its own reflections on the market and uh, there is uh, these processes are to be planned mm -hmm. and they are a result of the self analysis of the manager who believes that there is this is the appropriate time to change. That the first thing is the, that the manager must feel the need to change and he must be sensitive enough to sense that the change is coming. And uh, these are done or executed to achieve higher organizational effectiveness and to increase efficiencies in various uh, parts of the organization, maybe administrative, maybe our accounting system, maybe the financial analysis, maybe the manufacturing processes mm -hmm. and, and the productivity related uh, processes. And also uh, the in totality, it all leads to the betterment of the organization and the people as a whole. Students, OD seems to be not a short-term process, but it seems to be a long-range process and effort uh, in order to solve an organization's problems and as well as renew the processes. I would want the expert to explain further. 
since the corporation or any business is a going concern yes sir and it is always doing its business so it needs to develop all the time because obviously if a company doesn't develop it will be left behind all right and uh, ultimately it may be left out of business all right so the development or organizational development which we call od yes is a long range process which means that the manager has to be sensitive enough to sense changes and to continue to make changes and develop as you can see on the slide organizational development is a long range effort to improve organizations problem solving and renewal processes particularly through more effective and collaborative management of organizational culture with specific emphasis on the culture of formal work teams with the assistance of a change agent or catalyst and the use of the theory and technology of applied behavioral science including action research now it seems to be quite a complex statement but uh, if we look at it carefully we'll find some key words for example collaborative it means that organizational change and development is a collaborative effort then there people, is the word sir uh, management of organization culture yes people have to be included and since people are uh, when they work together and for some time they create a culture in the organization hmm. and creating culture also depends upon the attitudes of the top management exactly. so the culture will change and uh, the behavior will change and it will change collectively mm -hmm. and uh, the manager must watch carefully what interventions uh, he is using and how they are affecting this change and whether we are achieving the objectives uh, we want to achieve i mean the objectives of organizational, organizational development. development expert is there any kind of special approach that we need for this od special approach is needed because as we discussed it's not just any change in any aspect that uh, we are doing for making something better it's about the whole organization and all the people working so the finances the human resource the marketing the logistics the communications since all are involved we need to plan it very carefully and you can see a special approach to organizational change in which the employees themselves formulate the change that's required and implement it often with the assistance of a trained consultant a planned strategy to bring about organizational change now here uh, it's a very fine point made here that is the people should feel that they want this change mm -hmm. rather they have suggested this change all right it should come from them and but we need technical advice mm -hmm. we need an exactitude we need measurement yes so there must be some expert or consultant who should guide this process while the people should feel that they are doing it